In this video, we're going to take a look at Junichi Sakamoto's latest Nuke package. He has done some amazing stuff in the Blazer community, and his latest contribution is something called MD2 Razor Generator. So let's take a look at that. The MD2 Razor Generator is something that takes an MD file and then converts it to a Razor component using source generators. So you can find the MD2 Razor generator as a NuGet package. I will link it in the description below as well. So simply put, we're going to add a NuGet package. We're going to add a markdown file and boom, we're going to have a Razor component. So let's do that in Visual Studio. So here I have a demo project. This is an ordinary Blaze replication. I'm going to go into dependencies, manage NuGet packages, and I'm going to add the MD2 Razor generator. And now we're going to add an MD file. And we can do that to, well, the pages folder or any folder really. So let's create a hello.md. Now in this file, we're going to do a header, hello, from markdown or something like that. Cool. Now in our home component here, we're going to add a reference and take a look now. I haven't done anything. I just added the NuGet package, right? But now I should be able to just do hello like that. And now we got a component in the MD to Razor demo dot client dot pages dot hello. So let's run this. And there we have it. We got the hello world and also hello from Markdown, our new MD to Razor component. That's really neat, right? But we can do a little bit more than this. So we can go into our hello.md and add a little bit of syntax like this. So we also want to attach the page directive, or in this case, the route for slash hello. So if you go back to our page here and I add hello to the route, boom, we're going directly to that component. So let's have a look at the analyzer here. If we go into our client project, dependencies, analyzers, and then we got our MD2 Razor generator here. So I got a couple of more posts in here. We're going to take a look at those in just a minute. But our hello pages dot hello looks like this. So, and since we added our URL, we're getting the route attribute hello. And if you take a look at the rest of it here, basically what it's doing is that it taking the markdown, converting that to HTML, and just adds that into the component. Really simple, but also genius, to be honest. So we have our hello component, but we also have a bunch of other components here. I have a blog. It is uh, engstromjimmy.com. All of these posts are written with MD files. And I have them on my GitHub here. So we have all of the posts here. There we go, posts. And so here we have all of the posts that I have on my blog. So I took a couple of them and just put them into a folder inside of our project. And I also added this URL to them as well. So Blossom, we got custom CSS class provider, isolated JS, and so on. So if you pop into our project again here, and I write Blossom, I would get to my component here. In this post, I have a bunch of code here as well. So I would like to have syntax highlighting for all of this code. And Unichi has an example we're using Prism. So let's implement that as well. Inside of our app.racer, we need to add a CSS. In this case, I found a nice one, a Prism Alley Dark, so a dark theme. And then just beneath the script tag, we're going to add two more to Prism. And you can find the code for this on Unichi's GitHub page. So now we have the code to get syntax highlighting. But to start it, we need to call it. There are a couple of different ways we can do this. So we could add a code behind to all of the posts and say, okay, run this code, run this code, run this code. Or we can say that all of these files, all of these MD to 
razor generated files should have the same base class. So I think that that is a better way forward. So I created my own base class here, the my base class, and it needs to inherit from component base. That's the only rule. Then we're injecting the JS runtime and simply calling and invoking the prism highlight all method. And that's all that we need to do. Again, all of this code is available on Unitsch's GitHub page. So now we can just jump up to our client project here and then add a MD to raise the default base class property here and simply name the base class. In this case, MD to raise demo dot pages dot, well, my base class. So if we go back to our generated file here, we can see that it is now inheriting from my base class. And if I run the project, drum roll please, and I go to my slash blossom page, and boom, we got syntax highlighting right there. So this is a super convenient way to have all of this data and perhaps create a blog out of it, adding syntax highlighting and all that goodness. And the only thing we have to do was adding that NuGet package, do a little bit of configuration, but everything else is kind of just working. And if I just pop over here, I put them side by side here. I'm going to go to my Blossom page here. Scroll up. And let's just say that we add hello here. And save it. So this should kick off hot reload. And there we go. It changed on the page here. I think this is super well done. So basically what would happen here is that we're changing the MD file, the source generator picks that up, generates C sharp code, and then hot reload swaps it out and we can see it on the homepage. So please like, subscribe and share. And thank you again, Unichi, for creating all of these amazing things inside of the Blazor community.